this tech tip video, we will talk about using Veracut to create a fixture model that reflects relief cuts created by the program. If we run the simulation, we can see that the tool collides with the vice jaws according to Veracut. Because we know this is intentional, rather than ignoring the collisions or using the feature OK to cut into fixture, let's use Veracut to create a version of the fixture with the cuts in it. The first thing we will do is reset and create a new stock component. Let's call it something more obvious like cut fixture. I also like to change the color so the final color is what I want the relieved fixture to be. Next, let's move the pieces that we know we will be intentionally cutting by the program to this new stock component by selecting them graphically or in the project tree. It is also a good idea to create a slightly oversized version of the tool that is cutting the fixture to generate a small amount of clearance. You can see here in the tool manager that I made a copy of tool 4 that is 5 thou larger per side and I moved the driven point up 5 thou so that it cuts that much deeper. Rather than change the tool numbers in tool manager to use this tool, I will use the tool change list to assign T4 to the modified tool. We will add an event for tool 4 and tell Verica to use oversized 4 instead of 4. Now we will run the program. We can then see in the status window that oversized 4 is the tool being used now. Notice there is a cut stock created in the cut fixture stock component. Right click on that cut stock and choose save cut stock. Let's call it relieved fixture. Also, make sure the box that says save with features is unchecked. Now, let's reset. And I will usually just disable the cut fixture stock component in case we ever decide to generate a new version of the relieved fixture. In the original fixture component, Let's add this relieved fixture.vct model that we just saved. Lastly, let's reset our tool list to use the correct size tool 4 by just deleting that event. Now if we run the simulation, we see there is no collisions with the relieved fixture and therefore no errors to just ignore. Thanks for watching this tech tip video. For more information on using cut stock models, please see the Veracut help.